is uh, a short video about painting a truck with a brush. I know that sounds silly, but um, if you have a project that's overall quite rough and isn't really worthy of a Mako paint job, well, the next step down is a Rust-Oleum paint job, or in this case, let's go find it. Um, a Magic paint job. Um, so Magic is the brand name of tractor truck and implement paint that you can find at Tractor Supply. Oliver Green, Oliver was a tractor brand uh, to be distinguished from John Deere Green. That's the color that this truck is going to be. So you paint it just like you would paint an interior room of a house. You cut around the edges with a brush. So you can see uh, it has a, quite a good sheen on it. You can see the reflection of this side view mirror. You can see the reflection of my hand. If you thin the paint out enough and use a decent brush, you won't see any brush strokes. Now I didn't thin it and I used a Dollar Tree brush so you can still see some brush strokes, but it will turn out shiny, at least initially. If you want it to last longer, you'll add some hardener. Uh, when I do the second coat, as I cut around the, the, uh, the hardware and the mirrors and the trim, when I do the second coat, I want to do that with a hardener. Uh, to give it a longer lasting finish that won't fade and won't uh, won't mar so easily. So you'll see I've done around the windshield, I've done around the trim. Um, if you look, I've done around the, the door handle and also uh, the inside door jams. You do all that by hand. What does that leave? That leaves the big flat spots. Big flat spots are best done by a foam roller. And so if you can just picture the truck with its new color over the entire body, uh, that's, that's a finished project there. And so uh, the body was never going to be uh, straight enough and was never going to be, you could say, was, it was never going to have the integrity uh, to justify an actual paint job. And to help save my lungs also, whatever's left of my lungs, uh, I'm not going to be spraying this. This is all going to be done by hand. So, uh, what are the benefits? The benefits are uh, you don't have to have a lot of special equipment. Uh, the supplies are at your local hardware store. Uh, you get a gallon of paint, some brushes and rollers, and you can have a brand new paint job on your truck. Your, your restoration project, be a car or truck, and it'll last a long time. It'll look pretty good, and it'll cost you about 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, those are the benefits. Now, I've seen this done online for cars, and they'll wait several weeks or months for the paint to fully harden, and then they'll wet sand and polish. And especially if that's combined with a clear, this becomes a, a, a viable means to a show-quality paint job. I know that sounds silly, but I've seen it done. I've seen it done to classic cars and trucks online. Uh, so look into it. If you have a, a project that you want to finish, you want to complete quickly, you don't want to invest a lot of money in. You can't justify investing a lot of money in. Uh, check out your local hardware store for a gallon of enamel. As I said, magic paint here for truck and tractor. But if you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, they're bound to have some Rust-Oleum. Uh, works similarly, and I recommend it. So when this is complete, when this has been completely rolled out, I'll do another video. But until then, this is how you get a restoration done cheaply. So after the paint, we'll put a bed on it. The only modification I've made to the bed so far was to put a heavy piece of 3 16 plate on this, on this top rail. Now, I've had some people critique my welding. I've had some people critique how I shortened the bed, saying that uh, the method was unsound, that the truck won't be safe driving down the highway. I want to reiterate that this is a farm truck. Um, if it ever sees a road, it's just a road leading from one field to the next. Um, it's just going to tote some hay. That's all it's going to do. And in addition, in addition, the welds are fine. All this is welded uphill, full penetration. Top plate secures 
uh, the seam. And if you look over, the entire thing is reinforced with another plate on the side and a whole other plate on the bottom and the other side just like it. One plate, two plate, three plate, double thickness everywhere. Uh, welds either uh, full penetration or stitch welding. So th this, this is not going to go anywhere. If you were to rip the truck in half, that's not where it would come apart. So uh, the bed, the bed is going to be basically two four by six or equivalent across these rails. Four by fours, about four or five four by fours along the length, and then atop atop that old fence board running the length of the truck to finish it off. Probably a, a, another two by four on the perimeter to hide my four by fours. So that'll finish the truck. I might have to paint that bed, but that'll be it. That'll be it. Truck will be done. It'll be a nice little farm truck for use around the property. Um, it's been four years, four years coming. And uh, this is the second vehicle I've restored. And uh, probably also the last vehicle I'll restore. So uh, part two, part two I will show when the truck is completely rolled out. Part three, when the bed is under construction and completed. So until then, this is how you do it cheaply.